All right, Tuesday morning, I'm here with Darla, the Great Dane. We're doing our little walk, our Tuesday morning walk we do every morning. I actually do a lot of these now, especially because of the uh, the lockdown and the quarantining going on. <laughs> I think yesterday I did five walks with Darla and the kids, but um, and my mom. Anyway, I'm excited today. We got a wood floor cleaning job you guys are gonna get to see today. Uh, it's a pretty big job in a really nice gated community that we work in really often. It's actually only a couple blocks from our home. Um, this house, I can't remember how many square feet it has, but the job, it's almost an $800 job. Um, so again, I'm gonna shoot some really good video. I'm gonna have so, uh, Cole <laughs> and Sonny, try to put those together and say Soul. But Sunny Time Taylor and Cole Twinkle Toes Conley gonna be with me for this job. Uh, again, gonna be a really good episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you find any value of watching this, go ahead and mash that thumbs up. Leave a comment below of anything you think we could do to improve upon our content here. And also would love if you could subscribe to our channel. Again, ring the notification bell so you get notified every time we publish new content. Have a great day and enjoy. All right, so this is our wood floor cleaning job. This is the front entrance way, and you can see a little bit of sun fading right there. But beautiful bamboo wood floors. You can see we're staging equipment right out there. Sonny and Cole are on their way making trips to get all the equipment ready. There's a couple pieces of furniture that were just delivered, brand new stuff, and we're going to need to be moving those. That wasn't initially part of the deal. But with this coronavirus, COVID-19 or whatever, this company had to deliver them early, and we're going to obviously move them. There's the kitchen. The wood obviously extends into the kitchen and then obviously into this room as well. This is the TV room. So we're going to be cleaning this floor first and then moving the pieces of furniture into this room once we get it clean and dry. And there's the marsh front view. Gorgeous view. A lot of windows against this whole side of the house because obviously it backs up to the marsh here and just has a really, really beautiful view. So we got a great job ahead of us today. Didn't know it until our client told us today, but my buddy Curtis just cleaned all these windows just the other day, actually.
coming down the tower. So you may or may not have picked up on the fact that we had some swirly marks left over after the first few steps that we did. And just to run you through what you what you were watching up until this point, the first step we apply, uh, you can actually see it in that pump-up sprayer right there, and now I'm using it. And that's just a neutral wood floor cleaning product. And we apply a very, very light amount of that, even though bamboo is a lot more moisture resistant than a lot of other hardwoods we don't want to put too much moisture on the floor. So we put a very, very light mist of that and then coal hit it first with the 175 floor machine. And we had a white pad on there to agitate the soils from the wood into that pad. Sonny went right behind him with a counter rotating brush machine. And we swapped out the br brushes on that for the white brushes, which are ideally made for wood. Um, and even after that though, we had some swirlies in there. So we went back over it with a cotton pad uh, with green lines through it and we're able to make some progress in removing those, but initially what we ended up finding out was that the best way to get rid of them was with that flat mop, microfiber flat mop. So we went back over everything after we did all the steps and flat mopped it with a little bit more neutral floor cleaner and we're able to get a really, really good finished product. So here we are putting down the neutral floor cleaner in the kitchen and then again, Cole is heading in with the 175 floor machine with the white pad. And then right behind him is Sonny on the counter rotating brush machine. And we left the trays on there because the CRB was actually able to, one, I guess there's a lot less moisture than a typical cleaning. So the, the, the trays aren't filling up with moisture, number one. And number two, it is able to hold the dry soil that was, the, and there's other little soils that it kind of digs out of the crevices of the wood. And so by keeping the trays on, it actually holds that stuff instead of just flinging it all over the place. And so next and final step was I went back again with that microfiber flat mop and was able to just get out all the swirly marks and leave a nice finished product uh, for the for the kitchen there. So the whole job actually only took us uh, about an hour to, to complete, which for this large of a space was really good timing. Again, with three people, it makes for pretty quick work of it, but it was a $762 job. We were actually at this job, at this same home, just a couple weeks ago, and we did the dryer vent cleaning for these folks, and we also did a little bit of carpet stretching and carpet cleaning on their bonus room. So they were so pleased with that, they had us back out to clean these bamboo floors as well. They're planning on moving in um, here in just the next couple of weeks. So they've got a lot of different things coming together. It was kind of neat. They had the cleaning folks in their home just last Friday. And the owner of the cleaning company that they used, her name is Elizabeth Ross, and the company is Magically Spotless. And she's actually in BNI with Angela in the Camden County chapter. She actually was in BNI with me down in the Yulee chapter. But when we started up the Camden County chapter, she swapped over because that's closer to where she lives and works. But uh, Elizabeth and I have been referring work back and forth to one another for many, many years. So it was kind of neat and rather impressive to the client that we knew the window cleaner, my buddy Curtis that I mentioned earlier, he owns All Clear Window Cleaning. And I just actually passed him yesterday on the highway and uh, he was heading to a job and I was heading to a job. And... Anyway, so he came out and cleaned all the windows, and, and he talked about us and knew us. And, and then, of course, Elizabeth Ross with Magically Spotless came out and cleaned, and so she, she knew us, and she was talking about us. So it's kind of a small town, kind of neat that a lot of us, especially in the home services sector or, you know, industries, we, we all know one another pretty well and, and 
tend to refer work back and forth between one another. So in addition to this job, we actually had six other jobs scheduled for today. Tomorrow's not looking any better. We've got a very, very busy week and we're very grateful for the work. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. We really appreciate it. If you have any um, comments, things you liked about the video, things you didn't like, I try to do a little bit of voiceover sped up and a little bit of just real time uh, cleaning to show you guys both sides of the video. But it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Mash the thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please.